The first one was actually from aprons, you know, old Tibetan apron textiles. Now this is a new concept. It's like we find a lot of like damaged, you know, like uh, textiles uh, of uh, yak blanket. That's what we call. They used to put on the yak and even on like people or you know anything. This is like multi-use uh, chara. We call it chara liu. So we get this in Nakchu and in Kerong, Lende, and you know like uh, many different uh, parts of Himalaya and even in Tibet and far from Tibet to, towards Nakchu also you can find these kind of yak blankets. And these blankets are actually made from the wool collection, from the ground collection of uh, mountain goats and then yak. So you have like uh, uh, like damaged ones, you know the one which is damaged we make into patchwork wall hanging designs like this. And this uh, tapestry, which you can see here, has like Nakchu. This is the Nakchu, you know, like blanket, which is like a very old, you know, like, uh, because they are like torn and thrown. So I just uh, collected and made it into this uh, particular design with a lotus and pond design. So this is supposed to be the design of a water here, pond, Nakchu, Chu. You know, Nakchu is, you know, up in the uh, Tibet side, or Khan side. So this textile is from Nakchu. And these are all from Lende and Kerong, which is uh, uh, like Tibet side of Kerong. There is two Kerong in Nepal side and Tibet side. So this is the Tibet side of Kerong. And uh, so these are all from uh, the village of Lende, Kerong and all these places. And you can see the red ones here. These are from the center Kerong. And this is from the village Kerong. And this one, you can see here, these two colors are from Nakchu. Mm. So it's apparently maybe it's like more than 100 or 200, 300 years old, I don't know. But exactly, you know, like we can say it's like it's about more than 150 years old. Right? These are chara, it's like a, when they have, a, you know, like a, a rain, you know, it's like a raincoat also. They can just, you know, like use it uh, like you can see here, okay, with the design, you know, sometimes they use it like this, yeah on top you know like they can even put it on top of a uh, what you call like a uh, uh, baby uh, yak you know when it's like uh, raining so it's a waterproof actually it's like even a raincoat because the weaving technique is like a straight loom you know like and it has a weaving technique that the water will not go inside it drops from top you know it, it forms into balls you know water balls and it you know, like drops down. That is the technique of weaving. Mm. So this is a nomad weaving, you know, from Kerong and Lende. Mm.